solver let's put it for tomorrow tech yeah. field so tech field is a very simple field and very desired field so text box to create text box we use the constructor text field and we have a number number of characters so this number of characters is not actually the number of characters you can show the user on the screen so this is actually the uh, size uh, size in some some operating system logic in the like we have in html so the size of the text box so this is not actually the number of the and characters you will show on the screen so this third constructor it takes a default value for the text box so it is another version fourth version then we have the get text to get whatever value it can the text box contains user has entered on the text box and we can also dynamically change the value of the text box using the set text function and provide the string then we have a get selected index function so sorry get selected text function so okay so uh there are many characters in the text box but user has only selected some certain certain text inside the text so the get selected text will uh, return the selected text of the text box then even we can do this we can uh, select from this index to this index uh, uh text in uh, some particular text of the text box then we have a is editable function so Okay, so you can make the text box editable or not. So you can call this function set editable. So it will change the behavior of the text box if you provide true. So the text box will not be editable. And if you want to know if the text box is editable or not, you can call this function on the text box and it will return true or false. Okay, so set echo care. So set echo care function. and you call this function and you provide a character so okay this is used for password fields actually so if you provide this uh, you call this function and you provide some character so whatever user type on the keyboard only this character will be shown on the screen okay okay so you can call the get echo care function to know if the whatever echo character the text box has then echo care is set so this this function you can call this function to determine if you are if you have set uh, if you have the text box has been set for a particular echo character or not if it, this is a normal text box or it is a text box with an echo character so button button text text so we are creating labels then we are changing okay so Okay, so we have not discussed all the function of the component class, but there are many functions like set background, set foreground. So you can explore mm -hmm. this function uh, like uh, using the Eclipse auto completion like this. Mm -hmm. So actually, we cannot discuss all the cons uh, constructors. So this contains create image, those things. There are many functions. Uh, some of the function we will be discussing like. change the background color of uh, foreground color so if we want to change the background background color of label or any text box or any button we can call this function set background of the component class so we are creating a text field of size 12 this is not the number of character then we are creating uh, again a small text box for password then for password we are setting the echo care as a question mark then we are attaching them on the uh, applet then we are using the action listener okay so we are using the action listener of the text box so whenever user presses enter enter button on screen when whenever the user is on the text box and he presses the enter it this function is, will get called because the enter enter press generates the action event so we are calling the repaint function again the repaint will call the update and update will call the paint function so this name variable this is a text box this is a global field inside the applet so we can access it from any function so we are calling the get text function to know what what the text the text box has and we are printing it g dot dot sign
okay see the label has has a different background color now so i am typing mm-hmm. something so okay i typed and i pressed enter so i when i pressed enter the whatever i entered it got printed here mm-hmm. so again i am typing something and pressing enter so it will be shown here so action even is generated whenever user click mouse click or user presses enter on some okay. button button or label any control then password so this is the password field so okay so also see the difference between the length of this control so this is due to the length we provided for the first text box the length is 12 so this is the size of the text box not the number of characters okay okay so get selected text we are also using this get selected text function so if you select some text and we press enter we are getting the get selected text whatever user has entered So this was the demo for the text box. So uh, only text area and the scroll bar. So we will discuss them tomorrow. Or you want a, a practical class? Uh, we can continue. I my I want to focus mostly on the uh, more <laughs> stuff right now. Okay. So. I keep uh, doing practicals on the core the, those seven topics I mentioned to you last time. Yes. Yeah.